electromagnetic fields, can they in create, or I should say a better word be, enhance pain? Well, according to this controversial research, yes, they can. Now, anytime you have anything like this come out, I really recommend that you go into the DOI citation, look at the abstract, or at least look at the public release in a little bit more detail. This could have big implications, for example, hospitals next to cell phone towers, or whatever, or people that have an injury or at home that have a elevated EMFs in the house itself. But let's go right into the research before you can, so you can draw your own conclusion better. All right, first, energy from cell phone towers amplify pain and amputees. Citation title, anthropogenic radio frequency electromagnetic field. Well, number one, anthropogenic just means environmental pollution, a man-made environmental pollution. Electromagnetic fields elicit neuropathic pain in an amputation model published January 13, 2016 and published on, the, or I should say, in the Public Library of Science online. Let's go right into how the researchers first decided to go and delve into this question, so to say, and explore it more in depth. First, it starts with a story. For years, retired Major General, retired, sorry, retired Major David Underwood has noticed that whenever he drove under power lines, and around other electromagnetic fields, he would feel a buzz in what remained of his arm. Again, he's an amputee. When traveling by a car through Texas open spaces, the buzz often became more powerful. So we have an observation. When roaming on a cell phone in the car, or I should say the pain would kick in. The pain almost have felt like having my arm blown off again. Quote Underwood, an Iraq war veteran who was injured by an improvised explosive device. Now, into how the researchers basically modeled the study. To begin, until a recent study led by researchers at the University of Texas at Dallas was published online last month in the PLOS-1, there was no scientific evidence to back up the anecdotal stories of people such as Underwood who reported aberrant sensations and neuropathic pain around cell phone towers and other technology that produced radio frequency electromagnetic fields. And they just want to limit it to the cell phone towers per se. This is what they said, quote, our study provides evidence for the first time that subjects exposed to cell phone towers at low regular levels can actually perceive pain. All right, it sounds a little ambiguous, but this is how the study was done and this is the results they had. This will explain a little bit more to you as we move forward. The team hypothesized, hypothesized that the formation of aromas in flame peripheral nerve bundles that often form due to injury created an environment, kind of like an antenna, so to say, that may be sensitive to EMF tissue interactions, electromagnetic field interactions. To test this, the team randomly assigned 20 rats into two groups, one receiving a nerve injury that simulated amputation and the other group receiving a sham treatment, sham being fake, uh, randomly assigned, meaning the researchers didn't know which ones had a fake injury, so to say, and which ones actually had a real injury. Basically, we move forward. Researchers then exposed the subjects to a radio frequency electromagnetic antenna. Now get this. This is not a long exposure, so listen to my words very carefully. Electromagnetic antenna for 10 minutes, once per week, for eight weeks. Just a 10 minute exposure, once a week, not once per day, once a week for eight weeks. The attendant delivered a power density equal to that measured at 39 meters from a local cell phone tower, a power density that a person might encounter outside of occupational settings. Researchers found by the fourth week, not the full eight weeks, just halfway through the study, 88% of subjects in the nerve injured group demonstrated, demonstrated a behavioral pain response while only one in the sham group after the first week. 88% after four weeks began to experience substantial pain after being exposed to this based radio frequency electro electromagnetic field. It was exactly the same type of movements, uh, this is gonna be a quote from Underwood. It was exactly the same type of movements I would have around cell phones on Rome. Power lines and electromagnetic fields, said Underwood, who has served on the Congressional Medical Committees and has been exposed to some of the best doctors in the world. It was pretty amazing that a few short conversations with this team led to the validation of what I and many other experience. So, keep that in mind. Researchers 
Also notice that there's some things out there that do help quell these electromagnetic fields. However though, researchers said that the next step is to develop devices to block neuropathic pain from radio frequency electromagnetic energy. So, as far as what you can take from this. If you have someone, a loved one or whatever, basically that is suffering from some sort of injury, especially nerve injury or something like a neuropathy or something where neuromas form, and you may have a little bit of uh, elevated uh, radio frequency electromagnetic fields around from whatever, it's something to look at to see if possibly if it's something that you could alleviate one way through technology and quell these electromagnetic fields and potentially enhance recovery. I mean, I would hate to see a cell phone tower be next to a hospital or a cell phone tower in a church per se where people go you know, on a weekly basis. It only takes 10 minutes of exposure in this study uh, once per week in order to basically enhance this pain. Again, look at the research, draw your own conclusions. However, I do hope this has the potential to help somebody out there. And again, thank you very much for listening once again, and I always appreciate it. Thank you. Catch you next time.